Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we are playing uh, Back to the Future, the last, the last part for the episode 3 I think, I guess, I guess so And let's start, let's just jump start Settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Give me a watch, man. Give me a watch. What'd you do with my dad's secret videotape? Secret videotape? You know, the one that shows how people are fed up with all these screwy rules and laws. You lost me, Martin. But that tape sounds dangerous. It should probably be dumped in the decycling bin. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. <laughs> See? Oh, so you're, you're under control, okay then. So you really don't know anything about my dad's secret tape? Oh no, I never walk around with subversive material like that. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover baloney to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah, she wanted to run a, uh, a yeah, diagnostic see? on my Citizen see, Plus I, watch. See, I, I told you, I know it, I know it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it was Edna, I knew it. And then mom came by. Okay then. Let me see your watch, man. Biff, your watch. Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Cool. Hey, I didn't know you could do that. Oh. Eleven. Oh. I've got a few more questions. All right, Mark. Biff. Okay. Biff? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Where's my dad's tape? Decycling, Decycling bin. Did you attack my dad? <laughs> well, now we're getting somewhere. Hang tight, Biff. <laughs> Come on, 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 the decycling bin. Mind if I... D Once an item has been placed in the decycling bin, it cannot be retrieved. Gotta talk to Biff again. Well, maybe he can make some ruckus about Listen this. Listen up, moment. Biff! <laughs> Would you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Uh. Yep. That's it. Hey, Mr. Tannen. What's up? Uh, uh, uh. Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh. Hey, you can't go in there. Uh, uh. Hey! Oh, no. Oh. Oh no. Uh, oh, 
Holy smokes. W what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Gosh, ma'am. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive headfirst into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? <laughs> McFly. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh... Biff, stop! Stop! Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, pawn, pawn! Give me the pawn! Everybody loves pawn! Rubies! Huh? Tannin! Focus! Uh. Cigar, cigars! Biff! Are those your favorite cigars? Cubans! What's going on? Biff! Howard Tannin! Obey your programming! Uh, uh. You see, Mr. McFly! Thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. Fuck you, Anna Strickland. It's no use struggling, Mr. McFly, with his Theta Amplified State, Mr. Tan- okay. Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Where am I? Tannen? I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Oh, so the uh, so Doc doesn't know anything about this part, about about the the things that he did, that Edna hey, did. Look over there, it's beer. Beer? Tannen, listen to me. Uh, babes. Uh, booze. Uh. What the fu- ah! <laughs> Mommy? Tannin? Get up, you useless slacker! Come no, on, Edna, butt -head. give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett! What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She- Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? 
Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. You fucking bitch. Sorry, you, you all got to respect, but you fucking bitch. Dog. Ah! Father, what have I done? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This hill valley may be a little messed up. O okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited and principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Flask capacitor, man. Come on, come on, do it, Doc. Do it, Doc. Ah, that's the symbol. Great Scott. Martin, this, this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world! Ha-ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Aini along? The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Yeah, Doc. Yeah, Doc. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Heine? McFly. Yeah. On your left. Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. I hope I don't run out of rock. Down, Biff. I uh, stay. Wait. Wait. All right, McFly. What, what Time to fuck? race the music. The fuck? Face. It's face the music, you idiot. Uh, 
There's a lot of death, you know. This feels like more like a Shaun of the Dead moment. Alright! McFly! Oh crap! Uh, throw in the, the disc again. Fuck you, son of a fucking bitch. Is that supposed to scare me or something? Oh, I need him to get over there to, to knock him down. I need to stick him! <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. That's it, the panic button. Oh, oh. Come Place on. Place your bets. Yeah, there should be a manure over that man. Let's get out of here, Rainy. Doc! Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Two hours. Where's Doc? Oh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Is that? Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Doc! No! Doc! Fuck you, Edna Strickland. Oh! That's it for today's episode, I guess. Wow. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. Uh, thank you for I'm playing this game. Why? Thank you for because watching me playing this game, it. and and I, I don't want to spoil say? this. But my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy. Okay, I can't want to spoil this. Uh, if you like this video, like it, if you like it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. I don't want to shoot this shit. That shit.